Earth, planet that inhabits all forms of life we know. And this is what has been happening with our planet, because we have not learned to listen to signals about something wrong. Today, just a single animal species is responsible for a try but in previously intangible change to any other form of life. The human species. And all the transformations that the human has been doing directly influence the terrestrial dynamics and the way in which all begins relate. One of these transformations is a lack of control of climatic factors associated with a constant planet degradation. Unfortunately, the occurrence of such changes sounds a warning for a consequence of a great concern. The White Fire According with Washington Post, the White Fire Index consumed 4.6 million acres only in the United States in 1990, 7.4 million in 2000, and more than 10 million in 2015. The index increase show between other factors, the difficulty to know when some area, most of the times a remote area, is being burned. And as I said, this affirms the lack of preparation to contain the fires in time before the reach in proportion is unlikely to be reversible. Besides other maintenance factors, the white speed and direction are also responsible for increasing the speed of fire spread. Make these parameters take into account. We already know that exists many difficulties to monitor fires in remote access areas. So what happens when fires occur in these regions? Probably, fire causes issues that we are used to seeing the news all over the world. Irreversible environment damage, extinction of biomes, human and economic losses encouraged by global warming and uncontrolled growth of urban cities. This is a huge problem for many countries, and we need to better understand what is already done to suppress this lack. There are approaches used by several countries to mitigate the white fire effect. One of them, the analysis of satellite images, is used because it is able to provide information for large regions and no need to go to the place. But still with all these methods, the number of fires has been increasing and got more intense. One of the reason for this fact is the difficulty in predicting the chance of an event happening, such as a possible fire. The reason is that uh, ensure a good response time when a fire outbreak is found is preponderant for reversing or reducing losses, mainly in remote regions. So, know the chance of a white fire can be the difference between a catastrophe and its control. Observe the demand for technology against white fire from several countries in the world and really to minimize loss such as those more than 480 million animals killed as a result of forest fires only in Australia. So, by these reasons, we present you Curupira, an opportunity to minimize an extremely important point in the work against these fires, the response time. The response time corresponds to the mystery of time necessary to reach a fire outbreak and start fighting it. The shorter the time, the smaller the area reached by the fire and the greater the possibilities of prevention in addiction to legs impact. And how do we do that? Kurupira is a real-time monitoring system to predict and detect possible white fires in remote areas.
for this, a renowned model is used to estimate the risk of fire in a specific area, the FWI, the Fire Weather Index. It is a model widely used in countries like Canada and Croatia, due to its excellent accuracy. For such satisfactory results, some environment formation is to be measured, such as temperature, humidity, and white speed. This data is modeled to provide the risk rate for a possible white fire. In this way, we are able to link the FWI to our bus system. The system consists of two functional units. The first one, the sensor node, corresponds to the group of temperature, humidity and smoke sensors which is used to detect a possible fire. The second part, the central node, is responsible for a gateway sensor with a large operate area, such as the anemometer, the rain gauge and the wide direction sensor. But in the case of a remote area, how is this information transmitted? With that in mind, we connect these nodes through the LoRa Mesh Network, which joins the LoRa modulation with the long range and low power consumption to the Mesh Network, in which each radio functions not only as a signal receiver, but also as a router, being before a highly scalable network. After, this data is sent to the gateway, which then sends this to the cloud, make this data easily visible on a web interface. This interface presents alert about possible white fires, climatic information, report downloads like spreadsheets, and the risk of fire in a clear and objective way, assisting the response time to attack fires and the need for attention to a specific region. In addition, the possible directions to where the fire should spread, history, and personalized reporting for third parties is also presented. We validated the system at UFPE, Federal University of Pernambuco, which has about 3 square kilometers. For testing purpose, we distribute Kurupira nodes over a region of 200 hectares. However, based on these tests, the maximum area of operation for risk forecast is almost 104 hectares. With the Kurupira platform open, we simulate in a controlled environment the perception of fire outbreaks from the nodes. It is possible to oversee the change in real time of the smoke state at the interface. But before it reaches the platform, the information is received by the gateway and sent to the Firebase database in real time, where it can be viewed on the platform. Reports can also be downloaded in spreadsheet format for analysis and planning by the manager. It is worth remembering that Kurupir is energetically sustainable, using solar panels and batteries to keep in constant operation. We are able to withstand 5 days without solar energy. In addition, we also carry out a test of the influence of the speed on the fire risk calculation, with the other moment present in the central node. As you can see, the sensors are nodes to the environment change. In addition, the changes are sent to the interface in real time, along with the calculated risk. As we can see, the variation of the anemometer is available on the platform, causing a slight change in the risk of fire. With the rain gauge, it is possible to see a risk reduction due to the fact that the rain reduces the combustion capacity of the elements in the soil. And finally, the smoke sensor, which isn't part of the FWI calculation, but is used to detect the arson, in which prediction is not possible. There is no interference by the sensor in the risk, but an alert can be generated for immediate action by the manager. We have worked hard, together, to seek a robust, effective and scalable solution to minimize the effects of white fires. We are Kurupira and we work tirelessly to reduce the losses that we can't rebuild.